Welcome to Ace Designs 107, I'm Yes in the car park, you are the kings and queens. Today what I have for you guys is a, another Photoshop tutorial showing you how you can make your own Twitter header. This is going to be a sports themed one, it's really simple, it's really easy to make. There is no new techniques that's going to be presented in this tutorial if you have watched all my other, you know, banner tutorials and everything like that on my channel before. However, it's a different style and something new that you can learn, so yeah. Hope that you do enjoy the video, if you did please hit the like. The duration for it will be 15 minutes and the difficulty will be 2 out of 5 stars. It's really easy. Welcome to the desktop, this is where the magic happens. We're going to get straight into this tutorial by opening up Photoshop and making a new document. I'm just going to double check that my audio and sound okay, sweet. So um, we're going to be making a Twitter header as you saw in the intro of the video and yeah, we're going to be doing this sports theme. It's not that hard. It'll probably take five to ten minutes. Um, yeah, so I've gone ahead and got some of my icon pack. One dollar at my store if you want to go buy it. And I'm also going to be using this picture as like my wallpaper, like a little group hub. Sorry I couldn't find this exact one, but that's okay. A little bit of variety is also good. And yeah, for the document of the size, you're going to do 3,000 pixels by 1,000. So like this. And don't ask me to send you a PSD template for your Twitter header. I don't need to do that. 3000 by 1000. There you go. Start working. That's all you have to do. Photoshop, you can find that in my videos when I'm making a tutorial and that stuff. So there we go. I'm going to just resize this one right up to like here. I'll probably just bring it something like that. And I'll drag this one below here and this is going to be my top layer. Now you won't have this one, I'm just using it as a preview for the tutorial. Okay, so now we have our picture here. Just going to make sure I like it the way that it is. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is go to image, adjustments, black and white. Ah, uh, where's image adjustments? Black and white. And this will change it to black and white. And you can mess around with these to bring out certain colors. So like you can do this one. I'm just going to see what I can do. Okay, so I'm just going to press control U actually and just bring down the saturation right down there. And then I'm going to go to the opacity and change this one right down to like 90% and I'll press control um, L and this will bring up my levels and just drag the slider in to make the blacks more pronounced. Okay, something like that. And I might change this one down to like 17%. And you can try a blur on this one, so I'm just going to press Ctrl J, go to Filter, Blur, Glushy Blur. Maybe something like that. Kind of makes those little spots of highlights, and I'll merge those two together, and even bring down the opacity on this one. Okay, sweet, so now I'm ready to start making the text. That's all we have to really do. Now I'm going to be showing you these little patterns here. So to make those, we're going to make a new layer above all this. Bring up our rectangular marquee tool. And I'm just going to simply bring it down to like here. But before I do that, I'm going to press Ctrl R for my rulers and drag one down into the middle of our document. Yours will snap, but I'm just going to eyeball it. Something like this. And I'll fill this one in with an orange. The color code that I'll be using is FF9600. Press OK and just fill that in with the bucket tool. Now if that is not appropriate, just press Ctrl U for hue saturation and mess around with the lightness. So I just changed the settings like this negative 5 and negative 8 on the lightness and hue. And I'll press Ctrl T and also just bring this one in a little bit there. Now press Ctrl J on this one, right click, um, rotate this all the way around, it doesn't make a difference, oopsie, and just bring it in like that. Now also press Ctrl J on this one, rotate it 
180 by holding shift make sure that it snaps in and bring in something like this and I'm also going to bring this one okay sweet so the next thing that I'm going to do is start doing the text so to do that I'm going to be using font code you can go find it on dafont.com a link will be in the description below I'm going to be doing um, the text Vatican I think he used Arial but I love code I think that it's a really nice font so I'll be using that and I'll just use my arrow keys to make it centered off to this one like that and with this shape here we're gonna press ctrl T and I'll just zoom in a little bit make a little difference like that and this one can go down okay sweet so now with um, the Vatican press ctrl J and just press ctrl T and hold alt and resize these down to like here now press bold here if you don't have that go to view um, window sorry character and you can bring that one up and I'm also going to make sure that that's on bold sweet then I'm going to go to the color and change it to white and I'll change this one to breathe okay sweet so actually that's not bold enough so I'm gonna use Arial for this one Arial bold this one and this one black actually I think bold is bold enough okay and I'll resize this one to an appropriate size okay sweet so now this is suitable, I'm going to just move this onto long here. Press Control T, move it with the arrow keys. And I'm also going to shorten this one because I didn't really know what was the length. And what is that? Sorry for that, that's annoying as shit. Actually, I'll just put down my speaker on the other way. Okay, sweet. So the next thing is to make the little um, text above this vertical. So we're gonna press Control J, right click, and to write like that. And for the um, text, I'm just gonna do the exact same. So welcome to the official Twitter of. And I'll be using text Arial for this one. Arial narrow and I'll just change this one to regular and for the VA spacing I'm going to be doing a hundred and I'll also change this one to a little bit bolder yeah like that now press V for your move tool so you can move this text down okay can you like Okay, sweet. Okay, yep. And I change the spacing like this to 250 actually. So it just fits like the exemplar below. Okay, so the next and last thing um, to do is add in these social media icons and also change the opacity of these. So I'm going to merge these two together, but before I do that, I need to make sure that that is aligned. Press Control E so it's merged. And I'm going to go to the opacity and slightly change this one. Or I can go to overlay. I'm just going to try a couple of things. Because, like, I'm just making this up on the spot, so. Okay, so I'm going to be using linear burn. And I might just press control. Um... Damn it, my Photoshop's not working with me today. Like that. Yep, something like that. So we kind of get that texture coming through, so it's going to look like pretty nice, I guess. You can press Control J, press Control U. And just change the opacity on this one so it's a little bit like less. See, like that, it's a bit um, transparent. You can press Control J, change the settings to normal. So it looks like it's through, but yeah. 
how you can merge all these together or just press ctrl G to group them and just do lines okay so then what I'm going to do is bring in my icons so this is my icon pack you can purchase it for $1 um, it has a lot of icons, took me a long time to put together. So I'm going to be using the um, Twitter one. <laughs> Bring this one onto here. Press Ctrl T, hold Shift and resize this one up. I'll be also using the Instagram one. And it's really nice that with my icon pack I've gone and taken the time to like relabel all the icons so it's like Twitter, Instagram, because of if it wouldn't, it would just be a pain in the ass to find. And I'll also be doing it YouTube. Now I have a multiple YouTube ones, so I have to find. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? YouTube Play. There it is. Okay, so just move this one onto here. Press Control T. Hold shift while I resize that one out and also alt. Now I'm going to right click, go to the blending options to one of these. And I'm going to do a color overlay of orange. F, I think I did F6000. Oh, I was close. B? Yeah, what a guess. There we go. So it's the exact same orange that we used before. I'm going to right click and do copy lay style. Shift click both of these and paste them on. Now I'm just going to change the colors of these to no color. Okay, you can find um, social media icon packs, like, not icon packs, um, icons like this. So if you just go to Google and do Twitter logo PNG, you can find black and white. It just takes a little bit of extra time on your side. So yeah, but you can do it like that. Okay, so the next thing that I'll be doing is just moving these appropriately. So the Twitter is going to sit somewhere like with this post, I guess. Instagram in the middle. And YouTube Play. Okay, something like that. I'm also going to right click and do go to all these and do linear burn. Burn to the opacity for these and just change it down to like 86 so I get a subtle little transparent thing so it looks a little bit nicer and then with the text below them I'm just going to copy the vertican press ctrl j and I'll just cheat a little bit here and for the twitter it's going to be at I think it's just going to be at for all of them but my keyboard sometimes is fucked, so. There we go. Use arrow keys to move it in place. And it just make sure that this one is aerial. Okay, press Control J. And the same for your Instagram, whatever you like. And for YouTube. We do a forward slash like all designers do. And for the Instagram, I might just add some little bit of variety. So let's do Vertican 07, something like that. Just usually you want to have try to have all the same names for your social medias, but hey, a little bit of variety. Now with this logo, I don't have that exact same logo. So I'm just going to be using my logo for today, which is in here. Now for this one, it is just that. So actually I have a PNG file of this one. And I'm just going to change this color down to like an orange, which I'm very grateful because my logo is very versatile. Okay. And I can just move this one onto here like that or whatever logo you would like. That one doesn't work, so I'm going to make a new layer above this. Okay, sweet. Okay, move this one onto here. And chuck on your logo, just like that. 
just make it aligned with the um, post here so you want some little bit of symmetry or alignment in all your designs just makes it a little bit more nicer and with your opacity something like this you can also go to the blending options of your logo go to the gradient overlay chuck on this um, orange it should be as your foreground color by now but if you don't have it it is the color code is ff9600 and I'm just going to do angle 90 and it's going to be on reverse and for the opacity something like that so it's kind of getting that like little glow on that and I guess it would be nicer with this one but that is okay so I'm just going to delete that just showed you so you can make it if if you want anyway thank you for watching the video if you did learn something or enjoy it or at any point in time just got something from the video hit the like button and also subscribe for more daily content i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the comments below peace